just want to do a quick update uh, on the solar video. We'll start out here. Um, I did have the four um, solar panels on the roof. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave that uh, video up or not, um, but I uh, ended up did, uh, finding on Craigslist another 13 panels uh, for 180 bucks. so I really couldn't go wrong. Uh, after you know doing some math, um, I, I only have a PWM charge controller pulse width modulation. Uh, I don't have an MPPT, so I thought about getting some of the bigger panels uh, that are 200, you know, 100, 200 watt panels that put out 40 volts or so. Um, but with the PWM charge controller, uh, it's not really going to do me much uh, good at this point. So something down the road I could do, and then hook. Uh, maybe two panels in parallel or series then parallel them all together to create some higher voltage um, but right now um, these all these panels match the four original panels that I had so now um, on the roof I don't know if you can see on that board I've got another few panels six panels on the, uh, on the on the boards there on the right hand side so um, 265 watts of solar now um, and for a good chunk of the day it's about 11 and a half amps going into the battery so um, like I said, for the price I found them at, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't pass them up. And uh, who says uh, down the road um, I don't get any of the bigger panels and use these for something else, but uh, for that price, I uh, really couldn't pass them up. So uh, they're doing just fine, um, and uh, what we'll do is we'll go into the garage, show you have a, how I have them hooked into the uh, batteries, and then we'll go downstairs, show you the charge controller. And then at night time, I'll show you the loads that I'm running inside. So uh, follow me. We'll go check it out. All right, uh, I'm going to shoot uh, the other part of this video real quick. And um, right up there, I have, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit, uh, all the 11 panels uh, come in and uh, they go into that combiner box. And the combiner box right there has all the positives and all the negatives together. Um, those come over in a 12-gauge uh, wire. Um, there's actually the original uh, combiner box there. Uh, that's going to be an on and off switch or a disconnect and fuse. Um, I've got the things to go in there tomorrow. Um, and then that goes in and um, down into the basement uh, through that hole into the charge controller. And we'll go down there in a few minutes, but uh, I've upgraded my batteries also from the charge controller that come out here. Uh, let's zoom out uh, here again. And um, I've got uh, three um, uh, deep cycle batteries here. They're 12 volts. Uh, I realize the golf cart batteries are 6 volts, um, a little more heavy duty, however, uh, where I work, I get these for a pretty good price, so um, they're about uh, just under 200 amp hours each, so there's close to 600 amp hours, and the charge controller for the solar panels are going into here. Again, I've got uh, the positive hooked here and negative back there, so they're um, they're all hooked in, in uh, parallel together, so obviously 12 volts all the way through the system, and uh, the amp hours is kind of added together. Again, I still have these two batteries here. Um, these are powering my mo my modem and my router downstairs, and um, you know I really wanted to have two separate banks of batteries. Um, and uh, I wanted to keep my modem and my router separate, and I didn't want to draw everything off one battery bank. Uh, it does create a little bit of problem, and I'll kind of discuss that downstairs. Um, it's not probably running as efficient as I'd like it, um, but I um, wanted to have those battery banks uh, be separate. So um, it's kind of how I have it running in here, um, coming down into the combiner box. Um, into the old combiner box and then uh, we're going to put a, a shut off switch and fused there and I will go downstairs and show you what we have down there. Alright, uh, back downstairs now and yeah, you uh, you guessed it, uh, probably surprised I got some weather stuff going on down here. Um, anyhow, uh, here is uh, where the um, solar uh, panels are coming down into um, this is a disconnect box here on the inside um, the positive and negative come in and they got 230 amp fuses here so both positive and negative are fused 
um, coming down from the solar panel. They do come down um, into the charge controller here. This is a PWM charge controller pulse width modulation. Um, again, you can see it's nighttime, so there's no solar coming in. Uh, my batteries are fully charged at this time, or real close to being fully charged. And um, the load is on right now. Um, panels come in through here, um, goes to the charging circuit, comes out to the batteries on these um, terminals, and again, those come out um, and back into the, the same hole uh, as where they come uh, um, in. So again, panels come down through here into the charge controller. Um, charge controller goes out to the batteries and uh, these right here um, are my load. And my load, I'm running um, 10 uh, LED lights upstairs throughout the house and we'll go up in a few minutes and show those. Um, this panel will sense uh, the solar coming in. Uh, when there, the controller senses that there's no more solar coming in, it will automatically switch the load on. You can set it to stay on for an hour, two hours, three hours. I have it staying on um, until uh, it senses light again, and then it will shut the load off. So, uh, and that is pulling off the three deep cell batteries out to, in the garage. So now coming in from those three deep cell batteries, also I have um, this positive and negative wire here. So those are coming in from the batteries and those are fused right here. I've got a negative fuse and a positive fuse. Those come down into this combiner box. So the battery comes in and it comes over here so I can um, power all my 12 volt radios here if I need to. Um, in an uh, emergency situation, um, I can either use uh, this power supply here um, by just simply turning it on. And um, I can run all my 12 volt radios that way. Or if I wanted to, I can turn this off and simply turn the switch down. And uh, then my batteries are coming in to run all my radios. Um, so this combiner box, the batteries come in, the three deep cells come in here. Um, they either go to the radios, or I also have them running to this inverter right here. Now this inverter right now is on, um, and it is running my cable modem, and it's running my router. So my cable modem and router right now are both running off solar power. Now this is where um, I have... Uh, I guess, if you will, an issue. Um, the cable router and modem, uh, excuse me, this is my phone cord here, I was charging. Um, my cable modem and my router um, are both powered by this UPS. So the batteries um, come in from the box, go into the charge controller. I'm sorry, not the charge controller, um, this um, inverter. So the batteries come into this inverter, and this uh, inverter, um, this is my UPS. So my UPS is plugged in to the inverter, and it's running my cable modem and my router. Now the UPS is um, has this positive and negative coming out, and uh, the positive and negative go outside um, to the other um, two 12-volt uh, batteries that I have. So uh, the issue that I have... Um, while trying to keep the battery bank separated is I'm going from 12 volts up to 110 volts for the inverter. The inverter is coming down, powering the, um, um, uninter uh, the UPS, and then we're breaking it back down into 12 volts to charge the two batteries. So in a sense, I'm still charging um, the two batteries in the garage. The problem is I'm probably wasting a deal of energy by going up from 110 down into the UPS, the UPS back to 12 volts and 12 volts out to charge the other battery. So haven't found a better way to do that right now, um, but uh, uh, hopefully uh, I confused myself there, so I hopefully I didn't confuse anybody else out there. So that's how it's kind of set up down in the basement, probably not the, um, the most optimal setup, but uh, it certainly does what I need. I wanted to have backup power for my radios, which I can do. Um, and I wanted to run lighting, which I'm doing upstairs off the load, um, the charge controller, 
but the problem that I was having is, you know, by 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock in the afternoon or morning, um, it with the charge controllers flashing, telling me the batteries were full. So I felt like I was wasting solar the rest of the day. So that's why we've uh, got the inverter hooked up now, and um, we're going to run the modem and the router to see um, if we can use some of that excess solar up. I'm going to take a trip upstairs and uh, show you real quick um, um, the loads that I have upstairs, which is a 12 volt lighting. All right, I'm uh, standing outside the door now. Um, I'll take you on a walk through the house and uh, show you the LED lights that are uh, running uh, off the battery. Again, uh, all the lights are off in the house, so everything you see on will be uh, run from solar. And everyone is sleeping in there, so I'm just going to kind of be quiet as we go through and uh, just kind of show you what we have uh, running. So, walk in through the front door here and show you what we have. Again, hopefully this comes through pretty good, but there's an entry light here. Um, that lights up the walkway and through the front door. 